Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? This is Angie Perez with Paradigm IT Group, and we are raising our mug today, um, celebrating President's Day, and um, just celebrating all those leaders that have um, contributed to the amazing country that we have today, the unified, diverse, beautiful country that um, makes the United States of America today. So um, we are kicking off um, this week talking about uh, something very critical during tax season. So more and more we continue to hear about these uh, scams um, that are targeted to um, rob taxpayers out of their um, you know, tax returns and, and their uh, very personal information. So today we're gonna talk a little bit, um, the IRS put out some uh, warnings regarding several scams that are kind of um, creating a lot of buzz out there. So if you want the full um, list of all of these, you can go to irs.gov and get um, a full list of all of this information with um, great detail. Um, I am going to summarize that information into four um, scams to look out for. So the first one is there is um, a scam targeting businesses. It's a W-2 email phishing scam. So criminals are running successful um, W-2 email phishing scams to trick major companies. So um, they were targeting major companies, but be aware that this is obviously after any business out there that has employers, employees, um, and they are just conning them into turning over copies of W-2 forms. Um, obviously, it's a very sophisticated email, so um, beware of any email that prompts you to um, forward W-2 information. One, number two is generic IRS phone scam. So this is uh, very common. Right around this time of year, you have criminals using telephone numbers um, that are that, that will mimic the IRS taxpayer assistance centers to trick taxpayers into paying non-existent tax bills or um, their you know otherwise um, you know claiming that they have the ability to arrest you or contact the, the authorities or so be aware of those phone um, phone telephone calls number three is um, a supposed refund scam so criminals will send email notifications to taxpayers with a supposed additional refund um, which will ask and prompt taxpayer to verify their social security number directly through this link and um, the other one is a very similar, it's a fake hostage scam, which is very similar to the phone scam, except in this particular situation, victims of this have um, notified authorities that they were um, told that uh, a criminal was requesting uh, money and in return for not only um, um, you know, their, their tax information, but also a family, they had a, a family member hostage. So beware, there's a lot of email phishing happening um, these days. You want to be aware of opening any document. Please know that scammers will use regular mail, telephone, um, and email to try to get you to um, fall for these scams. Um, and understand that the IRS does not initiate contact with taxpayers via email, text messages, or social media channels to request your information. So double check, triple check, quadruple check, but make sure at the end of the day that you do not fall victim to any of these scams. On that note, guys, go forth and conquer. Make it a magnificent week, and I will see you guys next week. Ciao.